gentleman we ask that you park your cars legally during each home MSUV athletics event. Please do not park in a tollway zone or other restricted area. Illegally parked cars will be ticketed or towed. You may park free of charge in our parking garage and walk through the tunnel on 27th Street. Thank you. Tonight's game is governed by the rules and regulations of the NCAA and the Great Northwest Athletic Conference. Montana State University Billings, the Great Northwest Athletic Conference, and the NCAA all promote good sportsmanship by student athletes, coaches, and spectators. We request your cooperation by supporting the participants and the officials in a positive manner. Profanity, racial or sexist comments, or other intimidating actions directed at officials, student athletes, coaches, or team representatives will not be tolerated and are grounds for removal from the site of competition. We encourage you to cheer for your favorite team, but please do so without directing negative personal remarks against the opposing team. The use or consumption of alcohol or tobacco products is strictly prohibited. Thank you for your good sportsmanship.
Immutable Campus of Montana State University Billings. Today's great Northwest Athletic Conference game features the Seattle Pacific Falcons versus your own MSUB Yellow Jackets. Now at this time, we ask that you please rise, remove your caps, and face the flag as we honor America in the playing of the national anthem by the MSUB Horn Section. It's on, it's time for basketball here at Alterowitz Gym. The MSUB Yellow Jackets host the Seattle Pacific Falcons. The two GNAC foes playing for the second time this season. Seattle Pacific handed MSUB their first GNAC loss of the season a couple weeks ago. Jackets looking to avenge this loss. Jackets coming off just their second conference loss of the season. They took that one against St. Martin's. DJ Shabazz had a road trip to remember. First game out against Western Oregon, triple overtime, set multiple career highs, including 31 points and over 50 minutes played. Manuel Ajanaku set to jump it up against Kelton Samore, and off we go. Jawan Tott, first possession for the Jackets. He finds Carrington Wiggins on the outside. Wiggins, second leading scorer in the GNAC. Inside, hot, trying to go to the rim. It's knocked down by Samore. 
First leading scorer in the conference belongs to Seattle Pacific, Anderson Shaw. Jackets tied for first in the GNAC. Seattle Pacific for the moment, hanging on to fourth in the, in the conference. Nine and six overall record. Jackets 13 and two. Jawan Tot kicks outside. BJ Shabazz steps in. Now back to Todd all by himself. Threes up and good. Jackets draw first blood, 3 0. Todd on the full court press. Maui Z bringing it up the floor for the Falcons. Now Anderson Shaw, leading scorer in the conference, kicks it, finds Blackman. Z. Now Zach Paulson inside from Anderson. Anderson spins and puts it up. It's good over Shabazz for two. Cutting that lead back to one. Jawan Tott hands it off for Steven Richardson. Jackets will set a play. Carrington Wiggins kicks it inside for Ajanaku. Ajanaku will hand off for Richardson. Now Wiggins on the outside. Wiggins looking for a lane. Finds one, comes all the way through. Finds a Johnny Gu under the basket, slams it down. The big man gets two for the Jackets. Five to two lead here for MSUB. Maui Z bringing it up the floor. Hands it off, Sion Blackman. Now inside for Anderson. Back out, Blackman pops the three, it's good. Five apiece. Quick start, teams with buckets on their first two possessions here. Carrington Wiggins, Emmanuel Ajanaku now for BJ Shabazz. Now Ajanaku on the outside, kicks it, Wiggins. Ajanaku a little pump fake, now he gets it up from the paint, no good off the front of the rim, sat there for a moment. Hard work inside, Kelton Samore gets it to go, given SPU, their first lead of the game. Jawan Tot sets it up. DJ Shabazz for Steven Richardson. Shabazz holds, now he puts up the two. No good. Rattled around a moment. And Zach Paulson brings it back for the Falcons. Some more kicks it. Now Anderson drives it in. And that'll keep possession for the Falcons. Ajanaku with the foul. Maui Z for the inbound. In for Anderson. Anderson all the way out. Blackman pops another three. No good. Front of the rim. And Jawan Tot. BJ Shabazz. Now Carrington Wiggins. A quick play. Skipped a man there. Wiggins, guarded by Black. Wiggins gets some room, now kicks it all the way over. Jawan Tot, deep ball again, no good. Rebound collected by BJ Shabazz. Now Wiggins, deep three, no good. Front of the rim, rebound controlled this time by the Falcons. Shaw Anderson, and now Maui Z slows it down for the Falcons. Kicks it out for Paulson. Paulson for Blackman. Blackman working his way inside. Now Paulson over Richardson, no good there. Rims and out. So after points on the first five possessions of this game, we've gone zilch since. Jackets no good again. Wiggins another deep ball. Rebound controlled by Maui Z. Substitution time. Jimmy Brown and Abdul Bod check in. As does Jalen Tot. Jalen Tot in for the Jackets. It'll be Jackets' possession here. BJ Shabazz will have the honors on the inbound. Shabazz for Jalen Tot. Abdul Bod. Tot, a little handoff. Now Jimmy Brown kicks it right back. Again, that pass, looking to go to the big man. It's missing him so far tonight. 
And now Carrington Wiggins outside. Five to shoot, gotta get a shot up, and he does. No good, air ball there. And the Jackets take a timeout there, two on the shot clock. Media timeout. That'll take us to the media timeout. Just under four minutes gone in this one. Jackets trail, seven to five. First of all, our game sponsor, Side Throw, as well as all the MSUB faculty and staff joining us for employee appreciation night. Welcome to all these guests and friends that are here tonight. And thank you for being excellent partners of Yellow Jacket Athletics. out of the media timeout, Carrington Wiggins at the stripe to shoot two here for the Jackets. Chance to get it tied up. Wiggins, leader in the GNAC on free throw percentage, shooting over 92% from the line this season. Wiggins, second attempt is good, two for two. That brings us back to seven all. Ben Baker McCann controls here for the Falcons, running the point, and he steps right in, driving right to the rim. No good, B.J. Shabazz with the defensive rebound. Now Abdul Bach kicks it out. Jalen Tott, long range, splash. Tott gets it to go. He's lethal from that three-point territory. Falcons back up the floor. Kaysan Rouse controls. Now Wiggins, great steal, all by himself, goes up, slams it down. Jackets stretch out the lead to five, 12-7 here in the first half. Baker McCann will settle it down. Baker McCann on the inside. Up, and he gets it to go. We'll have a chance to head to the line here. Pause number two, Jalen Top. Basket's good. Along with Baker McCann, Trace Evans and Hassan Rouse have checked into this game for the Falcons. Baker McCann to the line, looking for the end one, trying to close this lead to two, and he hits it. Inbound comes for Jalen Tott. Tott, little bounce pass, Shabazz. Thought about handing off for Wiggins, thought better of it. Back to Tot. Tot finds Jimmy Brown all by himself. The big man gets it done in the paint. 14-10, Jackets lead. Anderson for Paulson. Now all the way back out, Baker McCann. Long three good there for Rouse. One point lead now for the Jackets. Jimmy Brown looking for a pass. Nothing doing. Whistle comes, that'll be Jackets possession still. 19 to get a shot up here. BJ Shabazz for the inbounds. Jalen Tott controls, running the point for this Jackets bunch. Now Abdul Ba kicks it inside. Jimmy Brown, little bounce pass, nearly lost it, but he settles it down. Back and down, now he gets it up. Shot came up over 
Trace Evans on that one. Now outside, Baker McCann. Inside, Evans guarded well there by Brown. He gets it up off the glass and in. Trace Evans, his first points of this one. Jalen's hot for Carrington Wiggins. Wiggins looking, backing down. And his pass was taken away momentarily. Stephen Richardson and Emmanuel Ajanaki. Jackets will maintain possession here. Jalen Tott for the inbounds. Tott inbounds for Wiggins. Wiggins driving the lane. Now he pops the three. No good, back of the rim. Ajaniku goes up and pulls down the rebound though. Great work by him. Jalen Tott outside again. Jalen Tott snipes it from deep land again. Now Rouse, Baker McCann holding. Now he finds Anderson. Back for Kraus. Kraus guarded tight there by Jalen Tott. Now he'll kick it outside. Baker McCann driving in on Abdul Ba. Nothing doing. He has to put it up over two defenders. He got it to go on the turnaround, 17 all. Jalen Tott driving in. His pass controlled for a moment, but Ba stepped out of bounds. That'll be Falcons ball. Shaw Anderson for the inbounds. Kassan Kraus back for Anderson. Anderson pulls up. Draws Wiggins as a defender, leaving Blackman open by himself. No good. Wiggins pulls the rebound. Now Jalen Tott. Steven Richardson for Wiggins. Wiggins now for the big man, Ajanaku. Ajanaku bought all by himself. Three ball, no good, far rim. And the Falcons back the other way with Kraus. Excuse me, Rouse. Apologies there. Now deep ball's up for Anderson. It's good. 20 to 17, Falcons take the lead back. Lead changes here early. Ba for Richardson. Now Ba. Back for Richardson at the top. Richardson pops the three. It's good. 20 apiece. Back to another tie we go. Now Rouse up the floor. Guarded tight there by Jalen Tott. Anderson now inside. Evans back for Anderson. And that foul is going to go against Shaw Anderson. That'll give the Jackets back possession. Immediate timeout we go. Just about halfway through this first half, 20 apiece.
Jackets possession after the foul. J Jawan Tot back in here for the Jackets. Subbing out with his brother Jalen. Shabazz hands it off for Tot. Tot for Richardson. Now Ajanaku. Now inside Tot. Great pass play broken up though. Kelton some more with the steal and that'll send the Falcons the other way. Maui Z hands it off for Clayton Whitman. Whitman seeing his first minutes of this game. Now Z on the outside, lost the ball, taken there by Juwan Tot. Three on two, maybe. Great defense there from the Falcons, prevented anything on the fast break. Jackets will try to make something happen with the possession time. Now BJ Shabazz kicks it for Richardson. All the way back down for Ba. Bob backing down Z. Now he spins, gets it up. Good off the glass. 22 to 20 lead here for the Jackets. Maui Z controlling for the Falcons. Gets it up. Now Blackman on the outside. Whitman for Z. Z trying to drive in. Guarded well there by Tot. Had the screen set from some more. And another great steal nearly there for the Jackets. Looks like Blackman jumped on it first and it'll be a jump ball. Great effort defensively here for the Jackets, nearly forcing their second straight turnover. And Jackets will take possession all together there. Another great defensive effort. This team leans on defense first. They are tops in the GNAC, allowing the least average points per game. Jawan Top controlling, driving in. Kicks it outside to John Aku. Now a handoff for Richardson, got tripped up. Foul number 11, Clayton Whitman. Jackets for the inbound here, they'll keep possession. Whitman with his first foul of the evening. Shabazz for Tot. Tot running the point. Tot had a lane for a moment. Now he kicks it back for Shabazz. Shabazz for Richardson. Risky pass there. Whitman nearly a steal. Now Shabazz driving in. Five on the shot clock, no good. And Maui Z bringing it back up the floor. Falcons possession. Z drives right in for the lane, drops a pass back. Some more, got it to go. A great pass there for Maui Z. Looked like he had his own lane, but he made a pass. Now Shabazz, little pump fake. Thought about the three, and then thought better of it. Now Ajanaku, backing down on some more, up off the glass. It's good, takes the foul as well. He'll head to the line. Anderson back in for SPU. And Jalen Todd will check in for Jawan Tot. And Carrington Wiggins will tag out Abdul Ba. Ajana Koo shooting one. Trying to get this lead back to three. Separation's been hard to come by so far in this one. Ajana Koo's attempt no good. Z controls, guarded tight there by Todd. Now Zach Paulson on the outside, kicks it for Blackman. Blackman, no look, bounce pass, finds some more, guarded by Ajanaku, no good. Ajanaku takes the rebound. And Carrington Wiggins up the floor for the Jackets. Kicks it out, Jalen Todd, already two threes on the evening. BJ Shabazz looking for one, he got it to go. B.J. Shabazz stretching this lead out to five for MSUB. And now Kelton some more. Kicks it for Paulson, Paulson back for Z. Z gets a screen, makes a move around Tot, but he ran into a Jonak who gets through. Strong defense there from Tot. 
Z draws the foul there. Fantastic defense there from Tot yet again. Media timeout we go. Just a tick under eight to go here in the first half. 27-22, Jackets lead. Out of the media timeout. Maui Z's one from the line, no good. Trying to save and go one for two here. Z's second attempt is no good. 0 for two from the line. And Jackets control. Taught inside, finds a Jonaku. Now Steven Richardson looking for a lane. Wiggins waits. Now he kicks it inside to Jonaku. Now back out for Tot. Tot drives the lane, gets it up. No good. Rim and out. Baker McCann kicks it for Z. And Steven Richardson, another steal for the Jackets. That turnover transition offense, they get it to go. Richardson a great steal and he finishes it off. Maui Z kicks it in. Shaw Anderson, now Trace Evans. Little handoff, Zach Paulson pops the three. Got it to go, nothing but net there. 29-25, Jackets lead. A little bit of separation here. Jawan Tot. Running the point. Tot kicks it inside for Ajanaku. Ajanaku has a little room, kicks it out for Richardson. Richardson, bounce pass, came out of bounds off Ajanaku. Jackets will keep possession here. Jawan Tot for the inbound. Ajanaku hands it right back for Tot. Now B.J. Shabazz backs his man down. Great pass for Ajanaku, stolen though. Great work by Zach Paulson to get the steal there. And now Rouse controlling. Evans hands it off. Paulson another three, he gets it to go. Jackets lead cut to just one, 29 to 28. Six minutes to go here in the first half. Steven Richardson on the outside. Ajanaku nearly lost the pass, but he recovers. And now he'll hand it off. Carrington Wiggins, 10 to get a shot off. Wiggins moves, now he kicks it out. Shabazz, great pump fake. Three's no good. Baker McCann back the other way. Falcons quick transition. Now they'll slow it down a little bit. 
Baker McCann kicks it inside for Evans. Evans looking to go back outside. Maybe another pass stolen, another turnover forced by the Yellow Jackets. Jawan Tot comes up with it. Outside for Shabazz, now with Jonaku. Richardson, little pump fake, now he pops it, no good. Jackets 0 for their last two. Shaw Anderson. Controlling, guarded by BJ Shabazz. Baker McCann's three, no good. Put it up over Wiggins. Richardson controls the rebound, sends him the other way. Shabazz, another great pump fake now outside Richardson. In the paint, Ajanaku. Tot driving the lane, kicks it out for Wiggins. Wiggins will slow it down. Now he drives the lane, gets in. Puts it up in off the glass. Great effort there from Wiggins. 31-28, Jackets lead by three. Kassan Rouse controls. Now he'll kick it inside for Zach Paulson. Paulson gets a screen, drives in, floats the two, rattles around the rim, and it goes 31-30. Separation still extremely hard to come by in this game. Nearly through the first half, the largest margin at this point has been seven for the Jackets, and it hasn't lasted long. Tot for Ajanaku. Now for Wiggins. Wiggins for Shabazz. Now for Richardson. Richardson steps back. Now he drives in. Great pass for Ajanaku. Tot all by himself on the wing. Gets it to go. Three ball up and good for Tot. 34 30. Jackets stretching the lead back out. Shaw Anderson's three, no good. Wiggins pulls down the rebounds. Wiggins pops the three, it's good. Back-to-back -back threes for the Jackets. Seven point lead. And timeout here for the Falcons. Coming out of the media timeout, it is Employee Appreciation Night here at MSUB, and I'm joined by Vice Chancellor Kim Hayworth. Kim, I appreciate you joining me. Thank you, nice to be here tonight. What, uh, for the folks who may not know, what does your role as Vice Chancellor entail? 
Okay, well, uh, the title is Vice Chancellor for Student Access and Success. It's a really long title. My mom can't even remember it. Uh, but basically, I like to describe it as most of the um, activities that happen outside of the classroom. So everything from housing to student health services to our Military and Veterans Success Center, our Native American Achievement Center, uh, financial aid, new student services, admissions, um, student activities, lots of stuff. Yeah, the um, University Police Department, and uh, I can't remember if I said TRIO, support services. <laughs> wow, a lot of responsibilities. Um, I guess in your experience, you had some experience as a college athlete, you played some volleyball. Um, has any of that experience helped you in, in your role as vice chancellor and all these different things you oversee? Yeah, so, uh, you know, I really believe college athletics can help any of us in any of our uh, lives because college athletics, especially at an institution like MSU Billings, where we're a Division II, uh, you know, we're really focusing on the personal development of our students, of our athletes. And so um, we put our academics first, and so we want our athletes to graduate, but uh, also the leadership uh, component of athletics and the teamwork that is taught and the mentoring and the guidance from the coaches and from the athletic staff. You just, you get that in spades when you're a college athlete, especially at a, a program like MSU Billings. So I really believe that it really applies to, to all of us in our professional and personal lives. Excellent. What are some of the new initiatives on campus that you're most excited about? What can you tell us? Yeah, thanks. That's a great question. So one of the new initiatives that we're really proud of is that we were asked by the Office of the Commissioner of Higher Education in Montana to start a program. We're one of only uh, two other institutions besides us that have started a, a program called Montana 10. And we started it this fall with uh, freshmen from, it's specifically a program designed just for freshmen and uh, incoming freshmen, excuse me, from Montana, who were Pell eligible. So that means they just had to have $1 of Pell eligibility. So that typically means it's the most neediest student. They need that support to help them afford to go to college. And then they needed to be full-time and uh, pursuing a, a degree. And uh, so what this program does is it, uh, takes care of all of the tuition and mandatory fees for students that are enrolled in this program. And in exchange for enrolling in the program, besides the tui covering tuition and mandatory fees, they also get mentoring, they uh, have success coaches, they uh, have um, specifically some events, some activities that we know are essential for success of these freshmen. And our retention rate uh, of those uh, students in that Montana 10 program was outstanding from fall to spring. So we're really proud of that particular program. Do you want me to keep talking about different programs? Because we have several. Sure, sure. <laughs> okay. Um, so when Chancellor Hickswa came to uh, MSU Billings in uh, 2021, she really wanted us to focus on retention and graduation. And so Provost Eskandari and I formed a, a committee and put together a retention and graduation plan with this outstanding committee. And the campus has really come together to uh, look at our, our processes and our support of students and how can we do even better to help support retention and graduation. And uh, we're really excited that last year, fall to spring, our retention was 5% ahead of the previous year. And this year, we're 2% ahead of last year. So the efforts that uh, our entire campus community, faculty, staff, and administrators are putting into place are really paying off. And what's most important is that we're student focused. And so it's the right thing to do on behalf of our student success. That's excellent. Um, the Montana 10, I think, is amazing. It's yeah. encompassing all these things that are can be so daunting as a new college student right. and helping kids with that is, that's excellent. Um, how would you describe the student body here at, at MSUB? I, I definitely would describe them as diverse. Um, they're diverse in their race and ethnicity. They're diverse in um, the states that, that they come from. Uh, we have international students. We have 
the majority of our students do come from the state of Montana, but we also have a number of students that come from surrounding states as well. And then the, the other diversity comes with, uh, we have many military uh, affiliated students as well as our American Indian students. And then uh, about 40% of our students would be considered adult learners, so 24 years of age and above. And so that adds to the diversity and the richness of our community. That's awesome. Um, what is your favorite part about being part of the Yellow Jacket family? Hmm. You had to pick one. Yeah, that's that's hard uh, to narrow it down to, to just one. But I would say that we are a very no accessible time. institution. And I would say chairs. accessibility in that like the cost for tuition is really affordable for our students. And uh, we great we give great financial aid as well and we're even improving that even more and if I could say another initiative that I'm particularly excited about is that we have increased the um, amount of our um, Yellow Jacket Excellence Merit Awards for our incoming freshmen for 2023 so we've increased the amount and we also have increased the uh, so they will be renewable and so for two or four years, based on if they go to City College or um, at the university. So we've increased that and then made those renewable. So we're really excited about that Yellow Jacket Excellence Merit Program. That's excellent. Um, finally, what, what's your favorite, what are some of your favorite MSUB events? I mean, there's so many great sporting events. There's a lot of, you know, there's music. There's all these great things. What's, what are some of your favorites? Oh boy, that's hard. That's hard to narrow down too. But you know, one of my favorites is coming up this spring, and that is our powwow. Uh, the powwow is open to the community. It's definitely uh, open for our students, faculty, and staff. But we really invite the entire state of Montana to come and, and surrounding uh, states as well. So that's coming up April 21st and 22nd. And um, it's just an incredible right, gathering of beauty, go. of culture, and uh, I'm just so thrilled that we get to Any, any last Ooh, words yeah. or parting yeah. words here for the fine viewers? Yeah, well, uh, so one of the responsibilities I have is over uh, enrollment, too. And so we have, we have some great preview events coming up this spring. And so uh, on March 16th, we have a preview event that's uh, would, is going to be open for any high schoolers or any transfer students that would like to check MSUB out or any adult learners as well. But um, it's just a, a great time to kind of test drive what the university has to offer, both City College as well as the university campus. And then we have some college showcases coming up this spring. And so we're trying this so we can focus um, on students' interests. And so on March 10th, we have a transportation and industry showcase. On March 28th, liberal arts and social sciences. On the 31st, health and safety. Um, so these are, uh, these are programs where parents are welcome to come as well as the students and uh, check out the university, meet with faculty, see what programs we have to offer. That's probably one of the other things that I really appreciate about MSU Billings and City College is that we really have programs for everybody. If you're interested in, in a two-year um, program in welding or, or autom automotive or something like that, we've got those programs and then we have the four-year uh, traditional programs too in the in the sciences and in English and and uh, so really with over over a hundred programs we've got something for everybody. One the last two events I want to talk about would be the health professions and sciences event on April fourth and the um, College of Education is sponsoring a program on April seventeenth and this is this information is all available on our website. Just go to msubillings.edu and check it all out. Kim, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, thanks for all the info. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Go Jackets.
Bags Alterowitz Gym, second half set to get underway here. Jackets trail 39 to 37 to Seattle Pacific. SPU gets the first possession. Maui Z takes the inbound and off we go. BJ Shabazz back on the floor for the Jackets. He pulled up, laboring off the court there late in the first half. Looks to be okay for now. First shot of the second half, three point attempt, no good for the Falcons. Shabazz has been huge for this Jackets team this season. The assists, the rebounds, the points. Played over, played 50 minutes in that win over Western Oregon, triple overtime, 31 points. Jawan Tot pops the three, he's up and good, his second of the game. Jackets back to the lead. Eighth lead change of this game. Now Kelton some more, trying to back down on Ajanaku. Runs into a wall though. Now back to the top, Z controls. Seven to shoot. Z drives in. Ball came out of bounds. And the Falcons keep possession here, however. Z had it knocked away as he was driving to the rim. Shot popped by Shaw Anderson. Anderson not up to his usual exploits tonight. Usually paces this team in points. Sitting behind Zach Paulson and Ben Baker McCann currently. Carrington Wiggins controlling on the outside, looking for a lane. He'll kick it inside, pass was tipped and now taken away by Maui Z. Z kicks it outside, Blackman pop, pops up the three, no good, rims and out. Lead sits at one for the Falcons. Now Tot outside for Shabazz, Shabazz. Another great pump fake, pulls the deep two and he's good. One point lead for the Jackets, 42-41. How about another lead change? Ten lead changes so far in this game. Maui Z controls. Falcons slowing the pace down only for a moment. Z looking to step in. Now some more. Drives the paint. Ajanaku knocked it down. Great play. Shabazz, quick pass. Richardson. And the foul's going to go against Richardson here. That'll bring the ball back to the Falcons. Offensive foul number five, Stephen Richardson. Zach Paulson took one for the team there. Possession comes back for SPU. And Maui Z. Looking to set the play here. He stops, pops the three, no good. Rebound taken by Ajanaku. And Carrington Wiggins controlling for the Jackets. Wiggins looking for a lane, may have found one. Now he kicks it for Shabazz. Shabazz thought about the three, now he kicks it back for Tot. Tot finds Wiggins, Wiggins for Ajanaku. Tot driving in. Pulls up from the free throw line. No good. Backboard rim and out. Maui Z. Now for Kelton, some more. Some more, a little handoff. Blackman, now, is, now for Paulson. Back, Sion Blackman. Some more on the outside. 10 to shoot. Some more, trying to find a way in. His pass intended for Z comes out of bounds. Jackets will keep Jimmy possession. Couple subs here for the Jackets. Abdul Ba, Jawan Tot, checking in as is Jimmy Brown. Trace Evans back on the floor for the Falcons. Tot gets a screen from Brown. Pops the three. No good front of the rim. Offensive foul number 45, Jimmy Brown. Brown takes the foul for the Jackets. 
Possession coming back here for the Falcons. Jackets still clinging to that one point lead. Anderson inbounds for Baker McCann. He controls, now for Evans. Now Paulson looking for a lane. Kicks it for Anderson. Anderson, little pump fake, trying to go over Bob. Bob stayed with him. Now a pump fake, got Bob a bite on it, and it's up and good. Another lead change, that's 11. B.J. Shabazz. Now Jimmy Brown kicks it for Ba. Jalen Tott moves, shakes. Now he kicks it. Wiggins, great pump fake, puts up the three. No good front of the rim. B.J. Shabazz takes down the rebound, though. And Zach Paulson media takes the foul. Off to the media timeout we go. Just under four minutes gone here in this second half. SPU leads 43 to 42. Coming out of the timeout. One thing to note here, Seattle Pacific has led the GNAC all season in field goal percentage and they are shooting 60% tonight. Season average is a shade over 51. They're shooting fantastic from the field so far tonight. BJ Shabazz holds up, now he finds Ba. Ah, oh, four, got to get a shot up, drives in, gets it up, no good. Backboard rim and came out, it looked good. Great effort there from Bob, but the score stays the same. Now Blackman. Tripped up there a little bit, looks like he slipped and lost his footing. Walking around a little gingerly here. Hassan Rouse in for Pacific. Rouse will check in. Falcons maintain possession. They'll have 12 to get a shot. Inbound, now Rouse on the outside, finds Paulson. Paulson drives in, finds Evans on the back door. Great coverage from Jimmy Brown. Shabazz was also in the neighborhood. Excellent coverage under the rim there from the Jackets. Now Tot driving in. Great pass for Shabazz. Shabazz drives in, puts it up. No good. Looks like foul coming against the Falcons here. That'll send Shabazz to the line. As I highlighted off the top, Shabazz coming off a a monstrous game against Western Oregon. A new slew of season highs for him, including free throw attempts and free throws made. Headed to the line for the first time tonight. Each team just three free throws, attempt to, free throws attempted to this point. First one no good from Shabazz. See if attempt number five for the team comes out a little better. And it does. 
Shabazz shoots one for two. Jackets three for five so far tonight. And Shaw Anderson the other way, drives in. Kicks it out. Baker McCann, now Evans hands off for Paulson. Paulson puts it up over Brown, no good off the rim. And Jackets take possession as it came out of bounds. And unfortunate placement for that out of bounds ball. Shabazz for the inbounds. Jalen Top. It's hot for Ba. Ba inside. BJ Shabazz. Now Ba open three. No good. Back of the rim. Rebound pulled down. Rouse kicks it. Paulson three. It's good. 46 to 43. How about another lead change? Abdul Ba inside. Shabazz has some room up off the glass. Rebound on the putback. That's good. Lead back to just one, 46 to 45. Baker McCann backs down on Ba, puts it up, air ball. Carrington Wiggins comes up with it. Jackets for a chance to take the lead. Jimmy Brown back for Ba. Ba floats it. Just about from the top of the key, no good. Kassan Rouse controls. Now for Shaw Anderson. Anderson, bounce pass inside. And the foul is gonna go against the Jackets there. Hassan Rouse for the inbounds. Rouse. Finds Evans on the inbound, hands right back for Rouse. He'll run the point. Little bounce pass, Anderson. Trying to find some space. Anderson backs down. Now outside, Rouse gets it up. No good, Ajaniku takes the rebound. Tapping the toes to stay inbounds there. Jawan Tot controls. And he'll kick it for Carrington Wiggins. Wiggins for Ba. Ba back for Wiggins. Finds a lane, gets a screen. Looking for a pass there. Looked like a shot, made it a pass. No one to take it though. Out of bounds, SPU still hanging to a one point lead, 46-45. Evans, now for Anderson. Pulls up from the free throw line, no good. Now Evans on the putback, no good, but he's fouled on the way up. He'll head to the line for two, chance to stretch out the Falcons' lead to three. Three seconds at the line, shooting two. Evans' first attempt is good. Evans, second attempt. Quick substitution here for SPU. Clayton Whitman checks in. Shaw Anderson comes out. Evans, second attempt, no good, front of the rim. The lead is two. 12-10 to go here in the second half. Tot outside Wiggins, Wiggins finds Ba. Ba's bounce pass for Richardson, intercepted by Whitman. And they'll head the other way. Paulson, Whitman, bounce pass, stolen away. Richardson, another turnover, he lost it. Jawan Tot comes up with it, he gets it loose. Now Abdul Ba, all by himself, gets it to go. Crazy exchange there. Couple loose balls, couple turnovers, ends up in two points for the Jackets and we're tied again, 47 all. Bounce pass inside. And another steal, this time it's Juwan Tot. 
Hands it off, Abdul Ba. Thought about the shot, finds Wiggins down low. No good, and I believe he took a foul as well. Number 13, Wiggins. 11.24 to go. We'll hit the media timeout. 47 all. Coming back. Out of the media timeout, Shaw Anderson has checked back in for the Falcons. 47 all, 11 total lead changes to this point in the game. Been tied seven times. Baker McCann, outside, finds Blackman. Blackman inside. Now back, Baker McCann driving in. Kelton Samore on the putback gets it to go. Falcons lead by two. Ajana Koo now for Abdul Ba. Ba controlling on the outside. Little bounce pass. Those bounce passes to the big men have not been hitting so far tonight. Steven Richardson, no good from three land. Rattled around the rim there. And Rouse, back outside, some more. Drives in, pulls up, no good, front of the rim. Ajanaku comes down with it. Jawan Tot bringing it back the other way. Shabazz finds Richardson. Now Ba driving in, plenty of space, up off the glass, no good. Falcons come down with it, Rouse controls. Now for Anderson. Anderson backing down. Now outside, Rouse pops the three, it's good. Falcons lead by five. And Jackets will take a timeout here. Shaw Anderson with seven points here in this second half. 12 total in this game. Jackets, the wealth has been spread around. Juwan Tott and Carrington Wiggins pacing the Jackets with nine apiece. Shabazz right behind with eight. Every Jackets player has at least two points this evening.
Out of the timeout, Jackets inbound. Shabazz for Jalen Tott. Finding Brown. Brown, great pass to lead Shabazz there. Now Ba, Shabazz drives in. Pass number 24, Sean Anderson. Anderson with the foul on Shabazz there. Jackets still have 15 to get a shot up. Shabazz inbounds for Tot. Tot controlling, spins away. Shabazz guarded tight by Shaw Anderson. Jalen Tot, five to get a shot off. He does. He hits it again. Tot, an absolute assassin from three point range. So far tonight. Jalen Tott hitting two for two. Jawan Tott hitting two for three. The threes have been falling for the Jackets this evening. Now we Z to the line shooting two. Z to the line here. No points to up to this point in the game for Z. First one goes. To this point, he's put up just one shot attempt that hasn't been from the free throw line. Wiggins checks back in for the Jackets. Z for the second attempt here. Looking to get this Falcon lead to four, and he does. Shabazz on the inbound. And Jawan Tott running the point. Tot, little interchange with Brown. Now for Richardson on the outside, finds Tot. Now for Shabazz. Shabazz drives in, finds Brown down low. Great pass. Great play there for the Jackets, finding the big man in the paint. Now he Z controls. And that'll be a blocking foul there. Kelton, Kelton Samore taking the foul there. Jackets will take possession right back. A chance to get even, maybe a chance for a one point lead. Tot finds Wiggins. Wiggins finds a lane, drives in. Bobbling it as he got to the hoop, got it up still. Didn't go though. Falcons control again, Maui Z. Z for Anderson. Anderson guarded by Shabazz. Anderson backs him down. Shabazz not yielding. Now, Anderson turns around, fades Man. away, gets it to go, back, leads back to four for the Falcons. Jackets have not led in this second half. Richardson, great fig. Now he pulls up the three. No good, front of the rim. Blackman on the rebound. Z controls. Slowing the pace down. 7.15 to go here in this second half. Little interchange. Anderson drives the lane, gets it up. No good. Rolled around the rim, just didn't drain for him. Shabazz finds Brown. Brown sets, drops it back for Tot. Now Shabazz hands off Wiggins. Quick interchange between Brown and Wiggins. Wiggins has a lane right in, up off the glass, it's good. Leads cut back to two. Anderson controlling. Backing down on Shabazz. Anderson again, now all the way out. Three balls up, no good. Kelton Samore was over there all by himself. No good, however, on the three attempt. Jackets, another chance to get this thing tied. 
Saw, interchange with Brown. Now for Wiggins. Wiggins gets a screen from Brown. Thought about the three. Now for Brown, he drives right into the key. Nothing doing. Rolls down off the front of the rim. However, some more did take a foul there. That'll send Brown to the line when we come back. Off to the media timeout, six minutes left. 56 to 54, Falcons leading the Jackets. Coming back, media timeout. Jimmy Brown, line, Jimmy Brown headed to the line. Six minutes to go. Trying to get the Jackets even with these two free throws. Brown first attempt is good, nothing but net. Brown second attempt. Front of the rim, backboard and in. And we are even one more time. Jimmy Brown with his fifth and sixth points of the night. And they're big ones, getting us back even at 56 apiece. Zach Paulson controlling. Evans hands it off for Rouse. Zach Paulson controls. Pass comes for Baker McCann. Now inside, Evans gets it up and it's good. Back to the lead for the Falcons, 58-56. Five and a half to go. Abdul Ba controls. Wiggins, great interchange with Richardson. Up off the glass, no good. Took the foul, however. That will send Wiggins to the line. As I said earlier, Wiggins, top free throw shooter in the conference. Shooting just over 92% on the season. Wiggins to get the Jackets even. First attempt is good. 58-57. Leighton Whitman tags out Evans for the Falcons here. And, excuse me, Carrington Wiggins, second opportunity. And he is good. Kassan Rouse bringing it up the floor. Kicks it, Shaw Anderson. Anderson, Whitman. Now Baker McCann has a lane, drives in, puts it up. Gets fouled on the way up though. And Baker McCann has the line. Baker McCann, first attempt, no good. Rim was pretty cruel there, front, back, and out. Let's 
Second attempt is good. Falcons with a one point lead, five minutes to go. Baugh for Richardson. Richardson for Jawan Tot. Now Wiggins inside Shabazz, backs down on Anderson, now spins, puts it up, up off the glass, and it is in Jack. It's one point lead, 60 to 59. Kassan Rouse controls. Shaw Anderson hands it off for Paulson. Whitman. Now Anderson spins, fades up over Shabazz, and it's good. 61-60, Falcons take the lead right back. Jawan Tot. Slowing the pace down a little bit. Now for Wiggins, he'll drive in. Fakes over Paulson. He was guarded by Baker McCann, and he got it to go. 62-61, Jackets take the lead. Shaw Anderson, Paulson. Anderson. Baker McCann. Anderson in, lays it up off the glass. Good again, another one point lead for the Falcons. Back and forth we go. Just under three and a half to go in this second half. Now a little handoff, Shabazz for Ba. Now Steven Richardson, back for Ba. Abdul Ba, controlling, pulls up at the free throw line, it's good! 64 to 63, Jackets lead. Crowds up in arms here, they want to stop. Shaw Anderson, a little pump fake. Baugh didn't bite, now he drives in, fades away. Great pass coming all the way out to the top of the arc. Rouse couldn't go anywhere though. Paulson, great pass, and Shaw Anderson knocks down the three. Two and a half to go here. And that'll take Seattle Pacific two point lead. Media timeout with two and a half to go. 66 to 64, the Jackets trail. Coming out of the media timeout, it'll be Jackets ball. Coming off the three pointer from Shaw Anderson. Took Seattle Pacific back to a two point lead. Richardson inbounds for Todd. That last bucket from Seattle Pacific gave us our 17th lead change tonight. Carrington Wiggins, little bounce pass, finds Richardson. Little stutter step, backs down on Paulson. And that one's out of bounds. Really 
Trying to find out who's going to have possession here. And it's going to be a foul against the Falcons. That'll send Steven Richardson to, to the stripe for a chance to get this thing tied. 2.15 to go. Richardson's attempt is no good. Rims have been cruel tonight. Front, back, and out. Back, front, and out. Richardson. Tough luck there. Shaw Anderson controlling. He's been huge for the Falcons in this second half. So far to this point, he's put up 16 points through this second half alone. That was number four, DJ Shabazz. Shabazz taking the foul. Anderson to the line. It's good, nothing but net there. Anderson's second attempt is good. Lead stretches out to four. A minute 50 to go. Jawan Tot controls. Kicks it for Wiggins. Wiggins, little pump fake. Got him to bite, going up. Shot was blocked. Wiggins came down hard. Blackman will take the foul. Wiggins down in some discomfort. Wiggins back to his feet, he looks to be okay. A minute 39 to go in this one. Jackets need four points to get this thing even and force overtime. Wiggins out of the game, but he's standing by the bench area. Jawan Tott will shoot the free throws in his place. First attempt, no good, back the rim and out. Tott's second attempt is good. Lead cut to three. The Jackets need a stop. This team has been great defensively all year. They need a big stop right here. Shaw Anderson. Steven Richardson knocked the pass away but came out of bounds. Falcons will keep possession and Wiggins checks right back into the game. Forced to sub out momentarily due to the injury. Falcons for the inbounds. Paulson finds Z. Maui Z. Drives the lane. Puts it up. It's good off the glass. Five point lead for the Falcons. A minute 10 to go. 
Jawan Tot spinning away from Z. Now he gets a screen, puts up the three, it's good! Jalen Tot has been lethal from three point range. He hits another one at a big moment. Lead is just two for Seattle Pacific. Out of the timeout, it'll be Falcons ball following Jalen Tott's three-pointer. Falcons with a two-point lead, 59 seconds to go. Jackets pressing, needing a stop here. Blackman kicks it for Z. Z looking for a lane, now he kicks it back out. Shaw Anderson driving in, puts it up, no good. Back of the rim, rebound controlled by B.J. Shabazz. Huge stand there for the Jackets. 30 seconds to go, they need two. B.J. Shabazz hands it off for Jalen Tott. Tott for Wiggins. Wiggins, great pass inside. Shabazz gets up, blocks on the way up, draws the foul. Chance to get this game tied with 15 seconds left. Came up in a little discomfort. We saw him holding that arm a little gingerly at the end of the first half. Looks to be in some discomfort following that foul. However, he will take the shots. Shabazz first attempt, nothing but net. 70 to 69. And Shabazz gets them both. 70 apiece, 15 seconds to go. Falcons timeout. Falcons control, under 10 to go. Z drives in, has a lane, gets it up, it's good. 3.9 to go, Jackets gotta hurry. Juwan Todd throws it up, his time expires. No 
good. Jackets will suffer their first home conference loss of the season. Maui Z, who didn't have a point until the second half with two huge buckets here down the stretch, proved to be the difference in the final minute. 72 to 70 win for Seattle Pacific. Fantastic game from a fan perspective. However, for the Jackets, this is a tough one. Just a two point loss playing for the tie with St. Martin's to keep pace in first place in the GNAC Conference. They now will fall to 13 and three. Still good for second place. The Jackets are clinched into the GNAC tournament. Two games left in their regular season. They will be here at home. Coming up next week, the Jackets round out their season on Thursday. Each game, the first half of a doubleheader. Thursday, 5:15 tip off against the University of Alaska Fairbanks. And finally, they'll round out their season. Senior night, February 25th, 5:15 tip off for the University of Alaska Anchorage. Jackets looking to end their season on a winning note. And that's going to do it here from Alterowitz Gym. Double headers coming up on the weekend, next weekend, next week. As I said, the Jackets men will be the first half of the double headers. Alaska Anchorage on Thursday. Alaska Fairbanks on Thursday, I apologize. University of Alaska Anchorage on Saturday. Each of those tip at 5